Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show right here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call. Just come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see the opening call. You hit newsletters first. You see the opening call right on the right-hand side. You hit that, baby. You are off to the races. Now, Basil not only has an outstanding newsletter, inside the opening call when you get it, he has 10 webinars that he does that he has done that you can go through the archive and you can really get to understand how he looks at the market every trading day basil chapman what's going on what's going on is i don't have that kind of background here it's, <laughs> uh, it's gray and cold <laughs> it's gray and cold yes we are in the florida keys folks and my little grandson is swimming right behind me with tommy right now it's a beautiful that's thing fantastic. <laughs> that's lovely Good. It, Enjoy. Cer it certainly is. I'm telling you, man. Life is tough. <laughs> the, how about the volatility in this market, man, right? So there are a couple of things. You know, we've been talking about for quite a few weeks since we had that high that I consider to be a quite a serious high in the Dow on the 8th of November. Uh, the Dow hit 36,565. We actually initiated a short position just about 40 points off that. And we, 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 we had money in it and we got stopped out for a profit, but never got back in. But we've been trying to time all the different indices. And my, my rule of thumb is that most of the time there are coincident lows where if you watch the volatility index and many other, other aspects to the market on a technical basis, there's some kind of climactic move to the, to the uh, downside where everyone just throws up their hands and says, this is it, we're going down forever. And that's the day that it turns around. We saw that March the 23rd last year. That was actually the day we went long the down the diamonds. Uh, but what's really important is that on the way down here, there are patterns that I look at. And one of the patterns that I, I spend some time in my show in the Tiger Technicians Hour and for subscribers to my opening call is I, I look at three different focal points in the market. One is a straight line up or down. The yeah. other is a cup formation where there's a price point that drops and then comes back. How it deals with that left side high is very important. Or in the red one on the right here, that's where it's an arch formation going from one point up and then it comes down. Then there's a pattern that we put the two together, either the straight line up with the, with the cup or the straight line down with the arch. And that's the pattern I call the dreaded H. And one of the reasons is if it takes out that left side low, it can go down quite a bit. And I'm going to keep this here just to show you on the Dow. There was a little doji candle um, okay. on the 11th, on the 8th of November at 36.56. It pulled back sharply to the 14 period moving average. It rallied and then it failed at a peak A. And my rule of thumb here again is if the arch formation turns around and comes back after one peak in A or a B and takes out that left side low, you've got to be careful because you could have a one-to-one -one down or it could continue down, which we've just seen today. It's down leg E on the daily um, chart with a huge arch formation. So I've been trying to pinpoint the turnarounds in the other indices. So we've been short the uh, QQQ almost from the high, and we are still short. But it has only made a leg A. It had that high at peak D. The fourth highest peak is where you always get a little bit cautious. It had a little, what I call a silent doji candle the day before. On the 22nd, it went to 408.71. Pull back sharply. And now it's in the pro. I think it's in the process of making this H formation. Now, we won't know until it takes out. If it's going to the 387, 389.77 lower three days ago. It has arched over. This is a single leg A. We, we haven't even made a peak yet, so if there's a lower high than today's high of 401.19, that's going to suggest, all right, be careful here. So I'm I, I always think that the tops are made sequentially, but the lows are made in unison. So if that's the case, you've already, remember I just said that the Dow made its high uh, going back quite a few weeks. In fact, uh, that was back on the 8th of November. And then the IWM, which is the Russell 2000, made its high also on the 8th. And the S&P is a slightly different chart pattern. It made its high uh, on the 22nd. And now we're watching the QQQ to see whether this is going to be a significant turnaround. It's been, together with the semiconductor index, it's been absolutely the strongest index. So 
for me, yes. it's just it's Basil, a challenge. Basil, let me ask you something. Yes. When, we, when we look at the Dow, right, can you put the Dow chart back up again? So when yes. we look at the Dow, right, it looks like it's breaking your left side also. So when we take that, like I'm looking at the Grand Canyon on the left and the, and the red's coming up to it, right? So yes. is that the one we're talking about? If it breaks that, and it, if it breaks that, do we, you know, um, projection-wise, can we take the bottom of that to the top of it and flip it over? Yes, yeah, so you know let me just do that, this. That it can yeah, go I, that much I, lower? I, I, let me just show you something that's very important. On the left side, there was a low in the Dow back on the uh, in October, and that was okay. on the 13th, and it went down to 34,115. Yes. Okay. The number of bars it took to get to the top yeah. is so far equaling the number of bars, hmm. but we haven't gotten to the bottom. And you can see I drew in from the plumb line of the doji candle of the 8th, yeah, a measured move, and that says that I round see. about okay. by the end of the week, the, okay. the real test is going to come on this left side at 34,115. So I this see. line okay. is something yep. that I've developed and I show subscribers. It's called Chapman Wave. Uh, this is the inside wedge target support line because it's on the way down, dash yep. pink line. And today we've just touched it, so we could be ready for a little bit of a bounce. But wow, if it breaks us, it could be a quick ride down to that left side low. And now what's right. really important is that the weekly chart has made a peak D, an alternate count peak D, and it's, uh, I don't know what it's going to do, but at this point it's in a sell signal. I have to wait for the end of the week because the weekly candle looks to me I might get a sell mode, which is a little bit deeper implication for the Dow. So I'm going one at a time, and all I can say is that it's, it's fascinating to see because the strength that just keeps coming in I mean, look at this, NVIDIA. NVIDIA made a high on the 22nd at 346.47, right. made a 319 round number low. Well, it's trading at 322 now. That that low, if that gets taken out, that's going to be very important. So I've got certain numbers that I'm looking at. The fascinating thing, you know, I love, I love round numbers. Look, um, applied materials, AMAT, AMAT, round number the 16th, perfect round number, 159 all-time high round number right there at the high little two doji can retest candles and it's pulled back quite sharply so there are a lot of things we're looking at as well as this rectangle formation the iwm had the same thing sideways rectangle formation says you can break to the upside but the magnet of the inside of this this uh, rectangle says that there's a good chance you're going to come right back in and it's already done that so yeah uh, now now even as we're talking the <laughs> the dow went down 150 points as we've been talking <laughs> well what, what's really interesting is that that move on friday when you know, everybody i mean to, I, I must say i was really surprised when I, I woke up on friday and looked and i said what am i i rubbed my eyes i couldn't believe down at that point it was down 450 and then by the end of the day dow was down 906 and then yesterday the clue was that 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 it was a false break to the upside was that the Dow didn't do very much, and in fact yeah, the right. rallies the right. rallies it was it was really sustained by uh, some of the prime stocks in the in the QQQ and the uh, semis. So that's why I'm watching them really closely to say are they going to be pulling back? And then did we get a rotational correction? The Dow's done a lot. And, it could start to find folks, support. It, it's very easy to get Basil's Lulu. Check it out at TFNN. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to show tomorrow morning.